Okay. <sighs> Next bit on leaking classified documents because people are dumb. War Thunder is a free to play online game by Gaijin. I think we already know this. Committed blah, blah, blah. Invested in the menu. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. And a player base that is extremely invested in the minutia of its vehicle simulations. Trust me, I know. The War Thunder forums see many arguments about accuracy or otherwise particular hardware. And this weekend saw one about the French Leclerc main battle tank and its variants. Which at one stage got down to the exact speed of rotation of the tank's turret. Let's see, Red Cross got rather annoyed with the user saying that the turret's rotation speed was 40 degrees a second. Let's see. Post under the title, and so decided to try and win the argument by, under the title, secret document, posting portions of the gunner manual for the Leclerc to prove their point. Another UK defense journal? Article. Let's see if it's pulled up. Nope. That one got ousted. <laughs> Again. French Army tank crewman has leaked a portion of the Leclerc tank's classified manual in the form of the popular Game War Thunder blah blah blah. You know it's bad when it's the UK Defense Journal having to cover this constantly. Screenshots show below have been blurred to protect any information that's not public domain. Took screenshots for the chart to make a complete turn, so is indeed correct not. Mentioning the S2, the tank guy was in. Oh no! No! An operator! The posts were made Sunday night during an argument between multiple users regarding the in game representation of the Leclerc. The tank claims to have been a crew member on the Leclerc S2 and currently fielded by the French Army. S2.3. <sighs> Four moderators moved the content quickly, but some of the information remains on the website at this time. Let's see, guys. Not funny to leak classified. Guys, it's not funny to leak classified documents of modern equipment. You put the lives of many on stake who work daily with the vehicles. Keep in mind that those documents will be deleted immediately alongside sanctions. Thanks for reading. Sanctions. This is not the first time classified tank documents have been leaked on the War Thunder forums earlier this year. Another War Thunder post user posted classified specs of the Challenger 2. Posted a classified do do do. Yeah. So this references the previous one, but yeah. No, I want this one. So this happened to be on Sunday morning and doubtless quite pleased with their work. Red Cross popped back into the thread several times during the day saying things like it took 11 seconds for the church to make a complete turn. So 550 what, mils per second or 31 degrees per second is indeed correct, not 40. I was in Leclerc Series 2 I was in, they further went on to clarify that they were on the Series 2.3 model, while other fans in the thread reported the documents and argued over whether they were classified or not. Yes, the best kind of argument. Is this allowed to be here? <coughs> and so you argue over the whole thing being classified or not, rather than the actual specs of the tank. After several hours, the material was moved by mods, who are now old hands at this sort of thing. Before Mod Yagdent wrote, and to wrote, guys, it's, yeah. Secret document. This is far from the first time. June this year about the Challenger 2. Let's see on that. The UK Ministry of Defense ended up informed Gaijin writing the manual is in fact classified. In response to the latest incident, the subsequent arguments about whether the documents are really classified or not, community manager S. Min at 1080p wrote, It is not for us to clarify what each document authority allow. Put simply, we will not handle, pass, or allow any form of classified documentation source, and we will follow any legal procedure that follows said documentation. Unless clear authoritative approval is posted that the source is not classified, 
We'll treat it like it is and act on it as such with the necessary process as per any legal parameters or requirements. The whole Fargo is just fascinating. This is all over the most minor of differences between the real tank and the in-game tank's behavior. And it's clear from the wider thread that there are extremely strong feelings about things like depression angles and traversal rates. Okay, try and develop a game and put every individual angle in perfectly. We got this. Thread subsequently devolved into an argument about whether the documents are really classified or not. Good. Very, very good, with some users focusing on the stupidity of posting such documents to win an argument about a video game. Yes, very, very, very good. While others seemingly remark seemed remarkably blasé about the whole thing, just another day in the War Thunder forums, as our own Andy Chalk rightly pondered. Let's see. Oh, that's the Challenger 2 article. Okay, just as ever, while sharing classified documents of the War Thunder form might get you into trouble IRL, it's no biggie there. Our friend Red Cross remains in good standing. Okay, I said this last time. I said this last time. Just because their account is in good standing doesn't mean that they can still post to the forums anymore. But anyway, War Thunder... We use only documents that are blah, blah, blah. We've read their policy last time. So, yeah. Again, just because they're in good standing on the forums doesn't mean that they're not getting punished. So, yes, they will delete documents from their forums. But they don't ban the players. So, yeah. And again, this question, how many times have War Thunder fans leaked classified documents check out their youtube channel they've got a few shorts and whatnot and memes on their social media that will explain everything and now for the second article of the video Ooh, a chinese this time i think i've heard about this one no maybe amazingly and i mean that without an ounce of hyperbole, I am amazed it has happened again for the third time, according to the UK Defense Journal. Classified military documents have been posted to the forums of War Thunder, Gaijin Entertainment's free-to-play vehicular war game, because the player got pissed off that some tiny aspect of the simulation was wrong. Yes. I don't think it's the third time. This is the third time you're seeing it. War Thunder has added more historically recent ve vehicles to the game, ones that remain in service with major armies. This, combined with a fervent technically f technicality familiar fan base, has led to a few major leaks of classified technical information affecting the Challenger 2. And, let's see, Leclerc and main battle tanks. Now the same fate befalls non-NATO main battle tank. On the 31st of May, images reposted online showed that the user posted an image of a Chinese D TC-10-125 Tungsten Penetrator sitting on a technical document describing the specs of the projectile. Ooh. Not every day Chinese secrets get out, but the Chinese always love stealing secrets from other countries. But anyway. Document shown above appears to outline the armor penetration figures against both composite and RHK armor. It's like, can you read Chinese? No? Good. Here. Here's the specs for this. Technical diagram and handling instructions are also outlined. Some of the information appeared to be on the internet before in brochures and claims from the PLA, but this appears to be the first images of internal documentation. Let's see. It can be fired from the ZTZ 96, 96A, 99, 99A, and is one of the PLA's main tank killing rounds. Interesting. Moderators quickly remove the post. Out of materials related to the tank are classified in China. Some reports state the images popped up previously on Chinese forums. Though this remains unconfirmed due to heavy Chinese internet controls, document cannot be independently verified at this point. But the projectile resting on it appears to be a genuine DC-10-125. So Chinese internet may be heavily controlled at the same time. A lot of the tech infrastructure is also 
So you could argue that it's classified to the military, but in the late 90s, early 2000s, much of Chinese doctrine, military doctrine, was going toward and leaning toward implementing technology and civilian infrastructure into their stuff. Not necessarily that they would implement, like, military weaponry into it, but when it comes to an information warfare stand standpoint, they could integrate civilians into their info war infrastructure in order to be more effective and control information. You can read about a gamer identifying as a Challenger 2, posting classified document here, and then the French Army tank crewman here. Let's see. Okay, so in this paragraph, they summarize what we've already read from the UK Defense Journal. But down here, what makes the whole thing even more mind-boggling is that according to Nobleman Swerve on Reset Era, it's possible the commission of this extremely serious high crime was entirely unnecessary. A game, the game recently closed a publicly accessible document server that reviewed the upcoming content drop they wrote. Thing about these dev servers is that the values for the things such as armor, penetration, or flight models are usually placeholders subject to change on final release. So what happens was the document developer added this shell to the server, but copy-pasted the values of the previous version as a placeholder. This poster saw this, flipped out, went ahead and posted treason to correct what are publicly communicated as placeholder values. Once an is an accident, as they say, as the saying goes, twice as a coincidence, but three times, and man, you really have to start thinking that maybe the governments around the world need to start putting on confidentiality refresher courses for their tankers. See, that's that's the thing, is a lot of ca cases, security breaches happen because of not being aware of it or not having that refresher to jog your memory on how you're supposed to be doing things and even then people will not have best practices but remembering that will prevent more of it versus like just letting it go <coughs> so it, it's kind of halfway a deal uh where you're not so much you're kind of minimizing it because you're reminding people hey we expect you to do this whereas they don't seem to do that all that often, so. Please be joking, dear God. I don't want to live in a world where this is possible. The very first leak was someone trying to get a tank more accurate. It was a matter of time before folks could post fake details to try and buff nerf tanks. And you gotta check them facts. Here, look at this blueprint. Oh, whoops, treason. Post has since been removed. Gaijin has asked its players again to please not share classified military intel on its forums. Our community managers immediately banned the user and deleted his post as the information on the particular shell is classified in China. Studio sent an email to PC Gamer, published classified information on a vehicle vending nation or Thunder forums is clearly prohibited and the game developers never use it in their work. We, while we understand that our players want the game to be as realistic as possible, we're kindly asking them not to do anything about illegal Anything illegal and jeopardize our safety as well as safety of our community team members, the developers of War Thunder, do the best research information on vehicles using legally available tools, and scandals like this are clearly not useful for our efforts. So, let's see. Treason is punishable by death in most countries, unless you're a politician that has the right politics. It's also pretty funny when you do it on the War Thunder forums, as noted constantly. It happens frequently enough that it's like, it's a wonder why they haven't been arrested, but it's because Gaijin works with the other countries. So, <clears throat> yeah. War Thunder, the War Thunder leak chronicles, according to PC Gamer. Um, very interesting so far. Everybody, nobody is immune from it, but here we are. And also remember, keep those documents safe and remind people that they shouldn't be posting the documents on forums. Maybe even have posters um, reminding people, 
not to post on the War Thunder forums with classified documents or excerpts from said classified documents. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description. Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.